Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is the body? From a greater awareness, the body is seen as a temporary illusory and ego-driven concept that is used in the dream matrix as a substitute identity to replace the awareness of your true self. The body is like a fence that an aspect of yourself imagines exists to separate parts of itself from other parts. It is within this fence that it thinks it lives to die as the body decays and crumbles. The body is a dream. Like other dreams, it sometimes seems to picture happiness, but can quite suddenly revert to fear where every dream is born. For only love creates in truth, and truth can never fear. Made to be fearful, must the body serve the purpose given to it. But we can change the purpose which the body will obey by changing what we think that it is for. Consider the body's purpose from this perspective. Instead of being your prison, where you are doomed to loss, lack, limitation, and ultimately death, the body can be seen as the means by which you return to the full awareness of your true self. In the dream matrix, the body was made to fence you into limitation and death without escape. Yet now, the goal of heaven has been exchanged for the fascination with separation and pain. And now the body is holy, for it serves a holy purpose. It now serves to heal the mind that it was meant to lead to death. You will identify with what you think will make you safe. Whatever it may be, you will believe that it is one with you. The body-based identity is a false promise 
that seems to offer safety through separation. And yet your safety lies in truth and not in lies. Love is your safety. Separation and fear do not exist. Identify with love and you are safe. Identify with love and you are whole. Identify with love and you will find your true self. Take a moment now to contemplate the contrast between the ego's perspective that your safety and home are in the body and the perspective of truth that where you are is in the mind of the infinite creator and it is here that your safety is guaranteed by God. Allow this contemplation to saturate your mind, to shape your perceptions, your thoughts, and your decisions, transforming the way that you see and illuminating the way of awakening to the truth. Take the next minute or so to do this now. And now, take a deep, slow breath. And as you let it go, let your mind and body relax. Allow all tension to dissipate. As you let go of the past and the future, And allow yourself to come fully into presence now. Words and concepts will mean little to us now. For now we seek the direct experience of truth alone. We leave the thoughts of the dream matrix behind and will to enter the kingdom of peace within. And here we wait in quiet expectation for the direct experience of God and the revelation of our oneness with our source and our unity with all things. So take one more deep, slow, and full breath in. And as you let it go, open your mind to take in the idea with which we practice today. Creation's gentleness is all I see.
I have indeed misunderstood the world because I laid my so-called sins on it and saw them looking back at me. How fierce they seemed and how deceived was I to think that what I feared was in the world instead of in my mind alone. Today, I see the world in the celestial gentleness with which all creation shines. There is no fear in it. Let no appearance of my so-called sins obscure the light of heaven shining on the world. What is reflected here is in the mind of God. The images I see reflect my thoughts, yet my mind is at one with God's, and so I can perceive creation's gentleness right here where it already and always is. Infinite Creator, in quiet would I look upon the world, which but reflects your thoughts and mine as well. Let me remember that they are the same, and I will see creation's gentleness. Perception is projection and what I behold without is what I have decided on within. I recognize now that the world I once misunderstood was a reflection of my own misperceptions and fears projected outward. Now, in the gentle light of remembrance, I perceive the world anew free from the shadows of my past misconceptions. Infinite Creator, this gentle world is but an extension of your divine mind, an infinite canvas where our shared creation dances in harmony. Today I choose to quiet my mind, allowing the brilliance of creation's gentleness to guide my vision. In so doing, I align my perception with yours, realizing that in this oneness, I witness the inherent grace and kindness woven into every aspect of existence.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take another deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice. Integrating it into all aspects of your thought system and your perception now. And as you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling, this awareness, and this idea with you into the rest of your day. Creation's gentleness is all I see. I have indeed misunderstood the world because I laid my so-called sins on it and saw them looking back at me. How fierce they seemed and how deceived was I to think that what I feared was in the world instead of in my mind alone. Today, I see the world in the celestial gentleness with which all creation shines. There is no fear in it. Let no appearance of my so-called sins obscure the light of heaven shining on the world. gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self today.